In iOS 8, you can now create a medical ID in the Health app. The medical ID is important because in case of an emergency, medical responders can look at your phone and know any allergies or medical conditions you have and know who to contact without unlocking your phone. Let's take a look at how you can set up medical ID on iOS 8. The medical ID pane of the Health app is pretty generic medical information. It contains much of the data that you'd see requested on a form when you visit a new doctor or an urgent care center. Birth date, existing medical conditions, notes about these conditions or your medical history, allergies to drugs, food, and environmental factors, medications you're taking, emergency contact, including relationship to you, blood type, whether you're an organ donor, and your height and weight. The app automatically pulls your name and photo from the iOS Contacts app. To add or edit that information, launch the Health app. Tap on the medical ID icon in the lower right hand side of the screen, then click the edit button at the top of the screen. For the most part, all you'll see are the text fields where you can type the appropriate information. The exceptions are the items at the bottom of the pane for adding one or more emergency contacts, which brings up your contacts list and allows you to select from a list of predefined relationships, and the field for blood type, organ donor, weight, and height, all of which provide scroll lists of possible entries. Having that information readily available when you need to provide it during an appointment or treatment is certainly a time saver, and it ensures that you include everything that's relevant. That isn't where the real value of this feature lies, however. The real power and value is the option at the top of the panel labeled Emergency Access, which sports a switch to allow access to the medical ID pane from the lock screen of your iPhone. This means that if you're in an emergency where you're unconscious or otherwise unable to speak or unlock your phone, an EMT, some other first responder, or an emergency room staff person will be able to access the information. The same is true for friends and family members who may come to your assistance. They can do so by using the swipe to unlock gesture and tapping the emergency button instead of entering a passcode. Traditionally, this has only allowed someone to call 911 or the local emergency services number in another country. If you allow lock screen access to the medical ID panel, however, there will be a medical ID button in the lower left of the keypad. Tapping that button brings up a non-editable version of the medical ID panel. In addition to viewing that information, the emergency provider or whoever is accessing that information can also dial your emergency contacts simply by tapping on them. If you have any serious health issues or allergies, it's a no-brainer that making this information easily available is worth the minimal privacy risk. If that's not the case, you can limit the information that you present and disable access from the lock screen. Anyway guys, this was just a quick look at the medical ID on iOS 8. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel as it really does help me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.